Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can see your internet traffic on your taskbar, which means here on this taskbar. But let me show you first how you can normally see your internet traffic. So just right click on your taskbar and then click on task manager. And once this task manager window opens, if it shows you this kind of uh, interface, you can just click on more details option and then go to performance. And here you will be able to see some options. You need to choose your Wi-Fi or Ethernet option, which is going to show you the internet traffic, which is uh, sent or received on your Windows operating system. So let's say I want to see this traffic on this task bar right so normally you can see it from here and let's see how we can uh, see it from the task bar so for that there is a free software which is available on the internet which is called net speed monitor so search for net speed monitor on your favorite browser and you need to open the link which is from softpedia.com okay I will put the link in the description of this video also so you can directly come to this website so just click on this download now button and then you can choose one of these options so most probably you will have the 64-bit operating system so I'm going to just click on this option which says x64 which is going to start the download of this MSI file which is netspeedmonitor.msi file and once this msi file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this file and i'm going to minimize the browser so when you click on this msi file it's going to say operating system not supported because they stopped upgrading this uh, software for the latest version of windows 10 but still we can use it and let me show you how so just close this and then cancel this and then go to the folder where you have downloaded this MSI file and then just right click on this net speed monitor MSI file and then click on properties and then go to the compatibility tab here and then you just need to click on this option which says run this program in compatibility mode and from here you can uh, see there is only one option which is previous version of windows so just leave it as it is and then click on apply and then click on ok once you do that and once you once again click on this uh, net speed monitor msi file it's going to show you this kind of window and then you can just easily install it by just clicking next next and then accept license terms and conditions and then click on next and then click on next once again and then click on install and now we are going to just uh, click on yes here and now this software is downloaded on your windows operating system so now we have successfully installed this software but it's not yet started so you don't see anything here on the taskbar so let me show you how you can start this software so you can just go to uh, this PC and then go to the C drive and you can click on the program files option here and you will be able to see this net speed monitor folder here. So you need to just click on NSMC file here which is going to start your net speed monitor on the toolbar. So you see which says do you want the net speed monitor toolbar on the taskbar just click on yes so now you see this window which will allow you to select your language from here uh, by default these languages are supported I'm going to choose English here and then you can select your network interface uh, if you have multiple interfaces you will be able to uh, switch uh, between those interfaces from here and also if you want to log your traffic into a uh, database it's going to save all the traffic into SQLite database which is a local database so it's not going anywhere it will stay on your PC at this location so if you want you can enable this traffic logging with the SQLite database also 
for now I do not need this so I will just uh, disable this uh, checkbox and then click on save which is going to start this net speed monitor and then just close this window and once you do that you will be able to see the network traffic on this taskbar also you can move this traffic on your taskbar using this vertical bar so you can see I can move this uh, to the left hand side for example also when you hover over this uh, traffic bar you will be able to see uh, your month's uh, traffic data or today's traffic data or sessions data also. Also you can do the configuration of this traffic data. So when you right click on uh, this uh, traffic data you can see there is this option called configuration. So you just click on this option and then what you can do is you can uh, change the network interface from here you can also select the bitrate from this uh, list so let's say I just want to see my traffic in the mbit per second you can do that also and uh, also you can uh, change the font size and layout of your uh, data which is visible here so I'm going to just click on the layout section here and let's say I want to just uh, maximize the font size to let's say uh, 15 or 16 and I want to make it uh, bold also okay so you can do that and you can also select your font type so once you are done you can just click on apply and then you can see uh, you will be able to see this uh, data in the bigger font and also you can change the font style right once again I'm going to right click and then click on uh, configuration and from here you can once again enable uh, the traffic logging with the SQLite database if you want also you can enable or disable the tooltip tooltip means when you hover over this uh, section here it's going to show you the tooltip right so you can enable or disable that tooltip also you have the advanced option where you can uh, reset all the configuration if you want right so let me show you uh, some speed test and let's see what happens when uh, we do some speed test to this section so I'm going to just uh, search for speed test and then I will uh, just open speedtest.net and here I will just uh, test my network and uh, you will be able to see some traffic here which means it's working right so everything is working fine so this is how you can uh, show your internet traffic on your taskbar so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video